Retro Rob here, and it's Friday. You know we open hockey cards every Friday night, and we got another episode of Fabulous Friday Hockey Card Mystery Packs. And today I got four packs here in Orin, in California, and this is what he says. And I am, I got four packs. I'm all in at $41.59. And he says, Mystery, mystery Hot Packs. Cards include 70s, 80s, 90s. So... Uh, 25, 28 cards, guaranteed stars, Hall of Famers, rookies. So we're going to hold them to the test. We hope we got a lot more 70s cards and early 80s cards in here. So let's open it up from Oregon, California. I got the MacGyver screwdriver here on a Friday night. Open up hockey cards. I love opening up hockey cards on Friday night. Now open up hockey cards and catch a game. So... Uh, not this weekend. Next weekend I got a game, so we can open up some hockey cards to get us through the weekend. So there it is. That's what it looks like. And we got four of them. And man, uh, our packed in here pretty good. Uh, there's two. There's three. And there's four. Or, there's four coming as soon as I can get into it, man. Holy cow. In fact, they're pretty good. Gotta give them props for packing it. There we go. So there we are. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna go, you know, we're just gonna go one, two, three, four. So let's open it up. We're just gonna put these all here. All the gold foil there. Mystery pack for hockey. Let's see what we get here for hockey for my hockey lovers out there. I love my hockey cards. And looks like we're gonna start off there with some Dunruss. Oh, uh, we got where is the opening of this? These things, you never know where the openings are. Oh man, that's sealed in there pretty good. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna start off with, uh, I believe that's 93, 94 Dunruss. And it's 94, 95, off one year. What is that? Those are hard to read that year. Oh, uh, San Jose Sharks. Uh, man, could it be any harder to read that? Oh man, I can't even read that. Oh, there he is with the San Jose Sharks. There's not even a name on the back. So that's why I didn't care for this year. It was just so hard. It's from the Czech. So call your favorite player from the Sharks for the Czech Republic. There's Steve Tuttle. Oh, very nice. Oh, you want to know something? I actually played with that guy a long time ago. Steve Tuttle there. Played with him in the 90s after his career was over. He is in West Michigan. I'll have to see where he currently is at. Man, I remember playing with him. Steve Tuttle of the St. Louis Blues. That is 1989, uh, 90 there. Oh, there we go. Steve Tuttle of the St. Louis Blues. So, I told you, I played against and with some uh, hockey players in my time. So, there's Gilbert DeYoung there. Oh, uh, over there we Go. That is, I think that's 92 93 upper deck there with the Montreal Canadiens. Up next, got Jeremy Rowan up there from the Chicago Blackhawks. There, that's a pinnacle card from 1994 95. So there's good old Jeremy Roenick. Up next, got our first vintage card there. We get Jack uh, Viquette. Oh, Valaquite. Valaquite will go with the, with the Toronto Maple Leafs. That is 1977 78 tops there. So there we go. Get the first vintage card. Ah, there's Marcel Brovenos there from the uh, uh, Detroit Red Wings there. There is a good old uh, vintage card. Uh, I actually have this guy's autograph and I have one of his trophies. Uh, at least a trophy play when he played for Muskegon uh, Mohawks way back in the day, like 1970s. This guy is old. I think I got his rookie card too. So there's Marcel Provados there. Great hockey player for the Detroit Red Wings there. A very nice card there. After that, we got some more vintage love. We got John Bernarski there from the New York Rangers there. That is 76, 77 there. Very nice. I'm getting a little. 70s love there. After that, from 92 93 upper deck, we got Arto Blostein from the Swedish team. You got a lot of the Swedish players there, so there you go. After that, we got John Casey from the Minnesota North Stars before they moved to Dallas there on 92 93 Flare Ultra. Uh, we'll keep going here. We'll probably got a lot to go through here. So there is Johan Norgan, and there is another vintage card. We got Tony McKinney from the Buffalo Sabres there, 1980-81 tops there. 
Uh, let's kind of go through here. The bigger names. We got Bill uh, Lockheed there from the Detroit Red Wings. Give it Red Wings love there. On a 78, 79, or 77, 78 tops. Uh, there we go. And there's good card right there. There's good old Guy Lafleur. There he is, one of Montreal Canadiens. Lafleur. Uh, there he is. 78, 79 tops there. I love that design. There's good old Guy Lafleur. First team All Star. Was a great player. Uh, let's go through some of these here. And uh, another leaf card that you can't read. There's Peter Stancy there from the Quebec City Nordiques. So there you go. 1984, 85 tops there. Very nice card. We'll take that. And there is uh, Martin Badur there. It looks like a 94, 95 score. There you go. So getting him with the cup there. Uh, with the jersey. With the, this was at the... I was uh, Venezuela trophy. That's right. I lost my mind there. There's a PC Hammer Retro. We're getting Nick Lindstrom there. Nicholas Lindstrom on a 92, 93 upper deck there with the Trent Red Wings. Give me Red Wings love there. Should be a second year card. Oh, there we go. A very nice card right there of Nicholas. There's Dennis Vasley, Vasky. There's going Grant Fear on a 92, 93 uh, Ultra. And we're going to finish it off there. Mikel, uh, to turn it off there from Quebec. I don't know, 92, 93. So let me you guys think of this. So far, so good. I would say average. Got a little mixture there. At least we're getting some 70s like you promised. Uh, not as many stars as I would hope I would, would find in here. But we'll keep going here. Maybe we'll get something good. One of these four packs here. Now let me know what you guys think. Leave those comments. And if you want to be part of the Retro Ro Robbie Rowdy Club, subscribe and, and have some fun with us there. So another hard to relieve. There's Charlie Huddy there from the Edmonton Oilers. That should be 89.90 there. Very nice. That is tops. Oh, uh, keep going there. There's Rick Levy there. <laughs> Rick Lay. Sorry, Rick Lay. Uh, there is some Denise uh, Vergerart from the uh vancouver connects there nice 77 78 tops very nice another donuts we can't read there's good old dave lewis there from the new york islanders that's gonna be a 76 77 so get some good 70s mid 70s loves there there's michael nylander from the swedish team russ cortnell from montreal canadiens Another Nicholas, a lot of Swedish players in here. There's good old Ron Stackhouse from the Pittsburgh Penguins there. It should be 79.80, or sorry, 80.81 from Tops. And we're going to get from the Finnish World Junior Championship. We got Yanni Niema. I got used to be on my own fantasy team back in the day. So a very nice die cut SP card. Well, I'll probably have a teeny value there. 162. It's a die cut. Uh, they usually have a little bit more. And a finished player as well. There's Ian Turnbull there. Turnbull from the Toronto Maple Leafs. You got to love that hair and his mutton chops from 1977, 78 tops. You got to love it. Well, there's good old Mario Lemieux. I don't know, 1993, 94. Oh, I sorry, tops. I'm pretty sure that's tops. Yep, tops there. So it's always worth a buck or so. Uh, there we go. And some more common players there. There's Owen Nolan from Quebec. Uh, there's Micah Goulet from Quebec Nordiques as well. 94, 95 tops. Or 84, 85 tops. Sorry, 84, 85. There's the Rocket Rochelle there. It's from the Montreal Canadiens. I got to figure out what these cards are. Ultimate. Uh, must be an ultimate card. Looks like from 1992. Well, there you go. There's good old Joe Sack. And I have a little value there. Joe always holds his value. I'll show him on the good old Quebec Nordiques uh, card there before he went to Colorado before the team moved. 92 93 upper deck. Uh, there we go. We got, then we got Brett Hall from 92 93 Fear Ultra. Very nice for St. Louis Blues. And the last card is going to be Bob Bass in there for the St. Louis Blues as well. 92.93. There's pack number two. That one wasn't so bad. There comes pack number three here. Let me know what you guys think. You like it, don't like it? Leave those comments. We'll give it our thumbs rating and give it my overall impersonation here. But uh, here we go. We're going to start it out there. One more Quebec. A lot of Quebec love going on here. You Nordiques fans out there. Uh, there's Darren Turcott. There's Paul Eisenbar. There's a good old name from the past. There's a nice uh, Mario Lemieux gold card from 92 
tops there. You gotta love the gold card. It always has a little bit more value. Oh, there you go. 185. I'm pretty sure I have that for my set, but we'll definitely check it out there. Uh, there is Rob Palmer. You gotta love the Robs. There he is from LA Kings. 80 81 tops right there. Good old OHL card. Uh, no value in that thing. Good old Doug Wilson there. And get, get some Heart for Whalers. Got one of the Heart for Whalers song there, too. those very often so there's the professor igor lirian out there 1990 uh, i believe that's 93 94 yep leaf there and after that got good old mike ramsey there from the buffalo sabers 84 85 tops and some more jeremy rhoda card that's a pretty sweet card right there that's 91 92 score uh, i always love those cards so they were kind of slick just too bad they made 8 billion copies of them and yeah, we got some good old 80s love on it oh 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 OBT, OBT cards. Oh, yeah, good old Craig McTavish there. I believe he was the last player ever not to wear a helmet. <laughs> For it was mandatory there, 88, 89, OBT. A uh, very nice card there, Craig McTavish. And we're getting uh, from Peterborough, Cordy Peterson there. Billy Harris from the Islanders there, from that Dynasty team there. So good. Look at all those goals there. Billy Harris, I don't know, 77, 78 tops. And from 88, 89, we got Pat Ulenick from the Winnipeg Jets. So there's good old Randy Carlisle. I like Frady, a guy can slap shot like no one's business. Uh, there is a Rick Bonus there from Detroit Red Wings. Give me Red Wings love there on a 78, 79 tops. You gotta love it. Uh, I love my 70s cards. There's good old Peter Klima. Another Jeremy Roenick there getting a boom card from 91, 92 score. And got Peter White there. Got top rookie. And there's a nice card right there. We're gonna get old Ray Bork. Oh, Ray always holds his value there. Very nice. Uh, 88, 89 tops right there. That's will have some value. Very nice. And more Ron Stackhouse love there. 79, 80 tops there. So very nice. Uh, finish it off with an icky classic card. No one cares about classics. Here comes the last pack. Let me know what you guys think. I'd say this is average. Not bad. Seen better. Seen worse. But I have some fun with it, especially those 70s cards. Always love the 70s cards. A little bit harder to find for hockey, so. All right, we got the, the, the Devils team card there. Trevor Kidd. Craig Billington. Ed Belfour there with the trophy. The Calder trophy there. Uh, very nice. That's 90-91 score, 91-92 score. And get some more 70s Red Wings love with uh, Mikhail Burge on there from the Red Wings. Got to be 76-77 there. You got to love those. Oh, hey, there you go. Nothing like you can't <laughs> blacked out uh, Anaheim Ducks, Mitty Ducks there. Uh, Johan Davidson, one of 45,000. Now there's a low print run right there. Oh, nothing like getting one of 45,000 cards. Woof. And it's blacked out. Oh, uh, there's Dave Lewis. I think we already got him. So that's 77, 78 tops. And there's Wheelie Huber there from the Red Wings. I don't know, 1980, 81. Uh, Michael Keane there. So I'll go through. There's Dennis Hexall there from the Red Wings. Man, we're getting a lot of Dead Wings love here from the late 70s. Man, they were sucky back then. So there you go. 77, 78 of the Dead Wings. Well, there's Kevin Hatcher, 88, 89 for the Washington Capitals. And Ken Lindman, Lindsman from the uh, Philadelphia Flyers. That's going to be 80, 81. There's Lee Fergolin there from the Buffalo Sabres. 77, 78. Uh, getting some more junky cards there. There's some 84, 85 Mike Bullard from the Pittsburgh Penguins. There's good old Vachelob, Klaslob. Oh, very nice with the Red Wings. Uh, there's good old Mike Bossy there. It's probably going to be our hit there. Good old Mike Bossy from Oh Peachy there. 
1986-87. Oh, Peachy Love there. Oh, Mike Bossy from the Islanders. Dave Christian from the Capitals there. 88-89. Bob Wilkie. Don't remember him from the Red Wings. And the last card is going to be Darren Quint from the Winnipeg Jets. So I got some adding up to do here. We're going to add it up here. Show the highlights. We'll get my thumbs rating. So stay tuned. All right, we are back with those four packs from Oren in California. And if you recall, I am all in at $41.59. Let's go over the highlights, or very little highlights, if I like to say, because there wasn't much in here. I think it was overhyped, uh, spent way too much for what I got. But let's go over the packs. First pack uh, ended up being the top left-hand corner there. It ended up being back at low value, four dollars forty-four cents. The best card of the bunch was the seventy-eight, seventy-nine uh, tops card, not in good condition. Now that I see it, there's a whole bunch of creases, bent corner there. Um, that ended up being uh, back at low, buck fifty, but you could probably knock it down because of, of the condition of the card. Not very good condition, but always nice to see Guy Lafleur from the seventies. I always appreciate that. So that ended up being $4.44. The second pack ended up being the worst of the bunch. And you know, when your top card is a 93, 94 with Mario Lemieux, where I literally have about 80 of these already, it's just not exciting. On uh, the same price as also this uh, Yanni Niema. It's an SP die cut, so it does have a little extra value. Uh, he did play for a while for the Philadelphia Flyers. I actually had him on my fancy team. That's why I know him so well. But again, these were each uh, 60 cents. Everything else, a lot of commons in here, a lot of junk wax era cards. There were sprinkled in there, a couple from the 70s, but no stars to speak of besides Guy Lafleur. But what are you going to do? The second pack ended up being. $5.98. The best card of the bunch. Yep, you got it. Another 93 94 uh, Tops gold card of Mario Lemieux. Point leaders there. Again, I have a ton of these. Not in the best condition either. So, what are you going to do? Last pack uh, ended up being $4.26. Again, top card is this uh, Eddie, Eddie the Eagle there, Ed Belfour, with a color cup from Score. Again, if Score is your top card of the match, it's not saying much, uh, to be honest with you. So, if you recall, I am all in at $41.59. Back at low value for all this ended up being... $18.62. Yes, I lost $22.97. How do I feel about this? I said it before, I'll say it again. Eh. You know, he didn't say what he promised. Uh, unfortunately, there's no stars really in here. A couple here and there sprinkled. Not junk. I mean, the stars are pretty much junk wax. Uh, a couple 70s cards. The rest was junk wax filler. Um, not worth getting, in my opinion. I would. I would, I would kind of stay away from this one. Unless you want the variety and all that, it's okay. You know how I'm going to rank this? I'm going to rank this anywhere from two thumbs up, two thumbs down. I, I got to give it. And the only reason why I'm giving this rating is because there were some 70s cards in here, and they're harder to find, harder, harder to find, especially for hockey. I'm giving it one thumb down. Ooh, yeah, just not worth it. It, 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 it's just junk, and man, it's so hard. I thought baseball was hard to find. Hockey's even harder to find. A good mystery pack of uh, hockey. So, but I'll keep searching. I know you guys like this uh, fabulous Friday mystery pack segment here, so I'm gonna keep trying to do it. If not, I do my regular hockey cards that I find through retail or a box I open up. So. Keep looking for those on every Friday night. We do hockey every Friday night. And if you have not subscribed yet, hit the subscription button. It means the world to me. It helps me out so much. And I'm actually kind of creeping up towards 900. So I love to get 900 subscribers. It will mean the world to me. And I appreciate your support. So until next time, everyone, Retro Robbie saying, 